every single day between this and the Kalela album that dropped last month, I think that old school R&B throwbacks are having quite a great run in 2017, at least from what I've heard anyways. Not necessarily the, like the, the glossy auto-tuned R&B stuff, I'm not really a fan of that, but if you're into that, you know, you, your taste. But I think this stuff that kind of calls back to 90s to early 2000s R&B, maybe a bit of boy band material as well as some um, Aaliyah, some Destiny's Child, I think it's, it's doing really well, and I think that what makes Rena and Kalela in particular, I haven't reviewed the Kalela album yet, but I'll get to that soon. What makes these two artists' music particularly great is how forward-thinking and futuristic they sound, as well as being authentic and ringing true to the original sounds of R&B. And I think that Rena's EP here is extremely promising, um, only helped by the production from Clarence Clarity, who brings his glitchy and colourful and vibrant ear for interesting sounds layered upon each other to Rena's, you know, R&B ambitions. You got that mountain, something violent I can never know. You got my friendships Considering that Clarence Clarity does dabble in the same sort of field of, of pop music, I think that these two complement each other really well on performance and production sides respectively. However, Clarence does kind of hold back on the production to kind of let Rena take main spotlight, as she delivers her amazing charismatic vocal performances that are extremely good, she's a very good singer and performer, and very good at channeling the sass and the glamour of that R&B music, the track Take Me As I Am sounds very much like the Kim Possible theme. I was surprised the track didn't open up with a boop 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 boop. There's also a surprising amount of versatility to what Rena does on this EP. She definitely shows off a lot of what she can do, with, whether it be a slow jam duet with Shamir. Somehow on this track, the two just have so much chemistry together, I think they do a fantastic job bringing out the colour and the personality in that song. Then you have a song like Alter Life which has a very roaring, abrasive guitar line that rings throughout the track. <laughs> Even the interludes are pretty good. And the song Cyber Stockholm Syndrome seems to embrace the digital and internet age, <coughs> as well as being extremely catchy too. And that's the thing, a lot of these songs they sound creative and colourful and vibrant, but they're also incredibly catchy. They're earworms all the way through, from Take Me As I Am, which seems like a meditation on identity and being true to yourself, all the way through tracks like Time's Out and Cyber Stockholm Syndrome, where hooks are just getting stuck in your head. I really think this EP is great. I think it's a great instalment for modern R&B that is both forward-thinking and vintage at the same time. I do think that this is a good EP for Rena to kind of bounce off of um, for future projects where she presents something even grander and even more ambitious. But this is a great EP for the time being and I think it's going to be a real favourite of mine for the end of the year where I count down my favourite EPs. However, this is going to get a very strong 7 out of 10 to maybe a light 8 out of 10. It's interchangeable, but all you really need to know is that I really liked this EP. I also recommend checking out the ID interview with Rena as she kind of talks about her experiences with the music industry and identity.